the scope of operations at Roy Hill, we have a mine up in the Pilbara, which is one of the largest mines in iron ore. Located at the mine, we also have a processing plant, and from there we have a 344 kilometre railway that takes the products through to our port operation, where we load it onto ships at Port Hedland. So our mining operation is one of the largest in iron ore. We have an ore reserve of approximately 2.3 billion tonnes of ore. We'll mine that at approximately a million tonnes a day and feed approximately 73 million tonnes per annum into our crushing facilities, which then gets turned into 55 million tonnes per annum of iron ore product. So when Roy Hill first began, we had the opportunity with a blank piece of paper to really design the operations from scratch. And one of the things that Barry, our CEO, and a couple of the early members of the team were very passionate about was building an integrated operating model. It enabled us to rethink how is it that we would run an end-to-end -end mining business and, and do that in a way that has never been realised before. They really needed a solution that provided overall end-to-end -end visibility of their entire value chain, where they make their money from pit all the way to the port. The operation centre is located about 1,300 kilometres away from our mining operation and our port's a bit further than that. Even with all of that distance, we're still controlling all aspects of the operation. Roy Hill has put a lot of thought into how their people collaborate, how they make sure that they make the best decisions, how they make sure that they have the right information in the hands of their people. In terms of how we've laid out the remote operations centre, from the very right hand side of it is where we control the mine, and then if you move across to the left, there's a fairly logical progression towards the port. So effectively, from right to left in the room, follows the production chain from end to end. The other arrangement in terms of from front to back is really around time. So the further away you are from the action, the further back in the room you sit. People can collaborate effectively because they sit right next to each other. Underneath that, we see a technology landscape that meets that same model so that if we have people collaborating uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, we are also providing them with all the right information to enrich the conversation even further. In reality, all it means is that rather than operating in silos, such as port, rail, we operate across the business. So important in automation and where we start to use technology because you're less reliant on structures like hierarchy, you're more reliant on how you collaborate with each other to get the job done. The reason why the technologies are essential is because machine learning, AI, VR, augmented reality, the digital twin is what enables our people to focus on more value added work rather than repetitive work. And one of our vision statements is that we want people to realise their full potential. So it is about being a high performing business, but it's also about people realising their full potential. Trying to empower those people to fulfil their full potential, that's what Roy Hill uh, sought to achieve when they started out. Now as they continue on in the journey into the future, still the core emphasis and one of the core values of their company.